Hello everyone, my name is Sumandua and I'm a registered migration agent at Nationwide Migration and Education. We make videos every week in regards to Australian migration and if you are interested in this topic, you may wish to subscribe to our channel. In this video today, we will be talking about the seven common mistakes that you can avoid when submitting a skills assessment application with WetAssess. These tips have been taken from the blog that WetAssess posted on their website some time ago. Now, these are the most common mistakes that are seen by WetAssess, which can delay or can even lead to a refusal in an application. So the first common mistake is not including the relevant qualification documents. Now, there are some additional requirements for qualifications obtained from specific regions of the world. These include China, Europe, the Philippines, and Lebanon. You should ensure that you understand the requirements for the documents specific to the country of origin. Common mistake number two is submitting an incomplete application. WetAssess sometimes doesn't receive documents that cover a particular period of employment or that support proof of you completing a qualification. You must provide evidence of all the employment periods as well as your formal academic qualifications that relate to your occupation, not just the most recent ones. Mistake number three, assuming an occupation is assessed by occupation title only. The types of work done in one occupation can vary between countries and applicants need to ensure they understand the requirements of their occupation in Australia. This is set by the Australian and New Zealand Standard Classification of Occupation, also known as ANSCO. Someone who does a particular job in their home country may find their application under this occupation is unsuccessful because they do not meet the educational or work experience qualifications required for this role in Australia. It is important to read the ENSCO definition and tasks before submitting an application to understand the significance of the ANSCO definition and the required skill levels. WetAssess also have information sheets available for most of the occupations that they assess. WetAssess offers an additional and optional skills assessment support service for professional occupations and this can be helpful for people seeking clarification about the criteria for an occupation. The service provides a 30-minute phone consultation about their skills assessment criteria for occupational classifications. Common mistake number four is not having sufficient employment duration at the time of lodging an application. At least a full calendar year of employment within the last five years of the application lodgement date is required. Common mistake number five, lodging a priority processing application for a second or subsequent application. Priority processing is only available to returning applicants if they have not previously received a negative outcome for the occupation nominated. They wish to renew an application that has previously been assessed positively for both the employment and qualifications, or they are applying for reassessment for a new occupation. Common mistake number six, not providing the applicant's contact details, their phone number and email address when an agent or a lawyer is lodging the application. This can significantly delay the assessment process if an assessor needs to contact the applicant directly. Sometimes the assessor has a question or needs to verify qualification or employment information. And the common mistake number seven is not supplying original language and or English translation documents. If documents are not issued in English, you must submit copies of the originals as well as an English translation made by a registered translation service. Documents in the original language without a translation will not be accepted. An application will be assessed much more quickly if these mistakes are avoided. If you're looking for advice relating to where to assess skills assessment application, we can help you with choosing the right occupation and also lodging a decision-ready application with WetAssess. If you have any questions in regards to Australian migration, please get in touch with us. You can visit our website nationwidemigration.com.au and book a consultation online. If you would like to stay updated about Australian migration, please subscribe to our channel.